Hi everyone, I'm back here for part two of our mini series. And today I want to talk to you about our Delta MS membrane, which is this simple air gap membrane that we manufacture right now currently in our facility in Beamsville, Ontario. And I'm going to give you a brief history about the product. And uh, the whole idea started as the, during the late 80s, early 90s, where builders in Southern Ontario and probably across North America were experiencing a lot of leaky basement issues uh, with their spray applied type of damp proofing membranes. So a bunch of young men at the time from Hamilton, Ontario, decided to look for a product that could probably help them and alleviate any of those problems. So they reached out to Dorkin in Germany and they bought this product and out of a garage in Hamilton, Ontario, they decided to go out and talk to builders how this simple brown dimple sheet can help them alleviate any moisture issues with their foundation. So once they introduced this product to the market in 1991, uh, they have experienced uh, a lot of growth with the product. Builders noticed that by installing this product on the foundation like this and creating an air gap between the foundation and the soil, that alleviate any issues they had with cracks in the foundation. So at that time, the, pro the company was called Cosella Products. However, due to the high demand of the dimple sheet, they quickly realized that they cannot be shipping stuff in the containers. And in 1995, a production facility was built in Beamsville, Ontario. And from that point on, we started manufacturing this dimple sheet and many other products in Ontario for North American markets. So I want to tell you a bit about the manufacturing process of this product. Because what we do, we utilize 60% recycled high density polyethylene in the middle, and we encapsulate it with two virgin layers of high density polyethylene on the outer layers. And the reason why we want to do this, this product is going to be exposed for a very long period of time to different soil conditions. And for the product to last longer, we want to use the virgin high, high density polyethylene because it will last longer. The other thing we do different than a lot of other manufacturers on the market is we offset our dimples so they do not, do not line up each, with each other. This allows us to do easy things like this with bending the product, creating a perfect L shape or when we deal around the colors, without any issues. So this product is fully approved in Canada and in US. In Canada, it has two CCMC approvals as required, which is the CCMC 12658 for dam proofing and CCMC 12788 for drainage. In the United States, we have one approval, which is ICC ESR 2303, dam proofing and well water proofing membrane. And the product is very easily installed. You install it with two people. We have special fasteners for this product that essentially go into the dimple of the Delta MS and you shoot a concrete pin into it. You can use a Hilti or a track fast type of uh, uh, automated nailing gun to fasten the product. A quick example here, this is a Hilti gun. This is a GX120. They no longer manufacture this product at this time. They have a GS3, I believe. And what it does, you have the product, it's not loaded by the way, so it is safe. You put the fastener against your foundation wall, put the gun in, push it in, and shoot a concrete pin. Those fasteners are installed in a pattern 12, uh, 12 inches of set from each other in two lines. So in Canada, because we do have two approvals, one is for dead proofing and one is for drainage. So, in our approval for dam proofing membrane, the pr product can be installed in the bottom piece directly on top of the footing, as this is what's required by the building code for dam proofing membrane. However, if you install the product as a drainage layer at the same time, it is in our CCMC approval and any other dimple manufacturer, by the way. So, this is not just something unique to Delta MS, that the product must be bent on top of the footing to redirect any incoming water away from the cold drain area into your drainage tile. Now, in US, there is one approval, ICC ESR 2303, dam proofing and wall waterproofing membrane. 
and as per the building code requirements, the product can be installed on top of the footing. As this is what's required by the building code. The building code clearly states that the proofing has to be installed from top of the footing to the anticipated grade level. However, we still recommend as best practice to bend it, redirect the water away from the cold joint. However, it's not necessary. Now, the other thing, around corners. When you get to the corner, you can bend this product nice and easy tight against the corner. And that's actually the idea of the offset zip dimples to make stuff easier for the installer. And you shoot the fastener in three inches away from the corner so you don't want to damage the foundation and hold the product nice and tight against the foundation. When everything is complete, we want to treat the top of the membrane. And the whole idea behind this membrane is you want to create this air gap between the foundation and the soil. So if water manages to penetrate by any chance, it will stay on the dimple side of the Delta MS and bright gravity come down to your footing. So it's imperative that you keep this drainage gap free of any dirt and debris. And that is true for any foundation dimple membranes. Once they get clogged with soil, they don't do anything for you. Now, to terminate the top, what you can do is, not what you can do, you would re recommend, you apply a bit of sealant behind the flat top. Put the flat top of the Delta MS against your foundation. Then we have termination pieces. This particular one is called Delta Flashing, Flash, I'm sorry which you put it on top of the Delta MS and you shoot concrete pins eight inches on center to keep it nice and flat against the foundation. And this prevents any dirt from getting from the top and clogging up your air gap. The other component that we have, and my lovely assistant is gonna pass me that membrane, is our Delta Mold Strip. This is a slightly bigger and profile membrane, but it essentially does the same thing. So you shoot the concrete pins over here. This pushes this profile, this Z profile, pushes the membrane nice and flat against the foundation and against the sealant that is applied there. Now you can use this or Delta flash on the top. You can also use this at any vertical termination. You can also use Delta flash at vertical termination because it will provide you with a nice and tight seal against the foundation and pervert prevent dirt from getting dirt getting behind the membrane. And this is very important. The air gap is not there when it's clogged and will not perform as desired. Essentially, this is it. A simple concept, simple idea, air gap between your foundation and the soil. It has to be free, no dirt, nothing behind it. If water gets in, no worries. It will stay on the dimple side, drain out by gravity. However, once it's clogged, it's not working. So this product is available in the United States and Canada, a variety of sizes coming from three foot six all the way to nine foot eight. Uh, so you have a variety of sizes, how to deal with different foundation heights. So it's not an issue, very easy to install. Uh, again, a lot of our products, it's not brain surgery. It's simple, simple ideas that will provide you with the proper foundation protection for years to come so you can finish your basement and you ha don't have to worry about leaky basements. Thank you and I'll talk to you guys next week.